We are a church of great expectations. Kneel down before him. Worship and adore. This morning's sermon is Genesis chapter 1, starting at verse 1 and going through verse 5. Genesis chapter 1, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was all over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the water. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, and the first day. God had a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word, and I want to talk simply about Jesus, the light of the world. Yes, sir. Jesus, the light of the world. Our theme for this month is the, are the, are the names of Jesus, uh, or is the names of Jesus. And as we consider the various names of Jesus, one of the names of Jesus is Jesus is the light of the world. Now the first thing that you and I want to notice in terms of God creating the heavens and the earth, the world, is that it was covered with darkness. The world was formless and empty and covered with darkness that hovered over the deep and the spirit of the Lord was hovering over the water. And so the first thing to remember is that when God first created everything, he did it and left it all empty, void, and dark. God created uh, the world, and when he created the world, the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And perhaps the darkness, we don't know much about it. But perhaps the darkness, as explained in the book of Exodus and in the crucifixion, was the kind of darkness that you could feel. That you could feel. It was so dark that you could feel. But all I really know is that the book says that it was dark everywhere. It was dark everywhere. And from the very beginning then, God saw the need for light. And when he saw the need for light, he got busy doing something about it. Yes, sir. I would, my sister, my brothers, that you and I were like God in that regard. And when we see that there's a need, and when we can do something about it, I would that we would be of the mind, I'm going to to do something about it. All right. God saw the need, God got busy, and did something about it, and then many years later, many years, thousands of years later, the Holy One, the Anointed One, Jesus announced to you and I in the world, I am the light of the world. Yes, Whosoever <coughs> followeth me, will never walk in dark, but will have the light of life. Can I read that one more yes, time sir. and say that loudly and clearly to you just one more time? Jesus said, I am the light of the world, uh -huh. and whosoever followeth me will never walk in dark, but will have the light of life. I've come this morning then to suggest to you, my sister and my brother, that Jesus is the light of the world. That's right. Yeah. That if you are walking in darkness and you want to know the way out of darkness into the marvelous light, you have to claim Jesus yes, as your Lord and your Savior. Amen. 
in essence, two things to remember. In the beginning, God separated the darkness from the light. And you notice that in the text, it says that God made the light. God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light. And he said it was good. And he separated the light from the darkness. And he called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the morning and the evening was the first day. Well, my sister, my brothers, I've come to suggest to you two or three things about Jesus as the light of the world. Listen, first of all, to the testimony of Luke and John about Jesus being the light of the world. When Simeon said, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you do not dismiss your salvation in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people. A light, listen to what he said, a light for revelation to the Gentile and a light for the glory of your Israel. God is creating the world, and as he creates the world, he makes it in such a way that you and I are able to see. Yes, and we can yes, see yes, because yes, Jesus yes, is the light of the world. John the Baptist then later on adds and assures us, in Jesus my life, and that life was the light of men. Yes. And the light shined in darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. The true light that gives light to every man was coming unto the world. John chapter one, verse four through seven. And I remind you again, my sister, my brother, that there's light in the world. You can walk in the darkness if you choose, but you can walk in light if you prefer. The Bible says that men prefer to walk in darkness because their deeds what are evil, but if they choose to do good deeds, then they can walk in the light. My sisters and my brothers said, Jesus is the light of the world, and as the light of the world, he's come to light up our lives. Without Jesus, we're all walking in spiritual darkness, and our enemies are ever upon us. Can I say that loudly and clearly? That listen, my sister, my brother, there's spiritual darkness all around us. And if you are walking in spiritual darkness, it is because the enemy has taken over. But with Jesus, with Jesus, we are torn away from the darkness. And we are put in the light. And in the light there is fellowship with Jesus the Christ the light of the world. There is nothing then any better than the light of the world. That's right. Everybody can walk in the light. Nobody has to walk in the darkness. If we choose to walk in darkness, it is based on our own choice. But all of us have the opportunity to choose to walk in the light. When our deeds are evil, we walk in darkness by choice. When we do wrong things, then I, we are walking in darkness by choice. But when we choose to do the right thing, the light appears and the darkness is dissipated and done away with. Jesus came for that very purpose, to keep us from stumbling and falling in the darkness to give us the light and to make us the light of the world. And later on, not only does Jesus say, I am the light of the world, but he says of those of you who believe come in on, him, ye are the light of the world. When we accept the gift of God, then the power of God's grace. When we grow 
into what God wants us to be and are mature believers in Jesus Christ, then we become light in the world. And when we become light in the world, there's a brighter day ahead for all of us. And so my sister and brothers, I've come this morning to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. Yeah. And if we are followers of him and believers in him, then we too become the light of the world. Yeah. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And no earth was, and the earth was now formless and empty. And darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the water. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Yes, sir. And he separated the light from the dark. And called the light day. And the darkness he called night. We sing a hymn entitled Jesus, the Light of the World. And these are the words that it says, Hark the herald angels sing. Jesus, the light of the world. Glory to the newborn king. Jesus, the light of the world. We'll walk in the light. The beautiful light will come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright shine all around us by day and by night because Jesus is the light of the world. Second verse uh, adds to it joyful all ye nations rise. Jesus the light of the world join the triumph of the sky because Jesus is the light of the world. Christ by high, highest heaven adorned. Jesus is the light of the world. Christ, the everlasting Lord. Jesus, the light of the world. Hail the heaven born Prince of Peace. Hail the Son of Righteousness. Because Jesus is the light of the world. We walk in the light then. Yeah, yeah. Come where the two drops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. And so I come then this morning in this sermon to remind you, my sister, my brother, that there was darkness and darkness everywhere. The kind of darkness that you could feel perhaps with your hands kind of darkness that Exodus talks about with the children of Israel on that night that the death angel came, or the kind of darkness that occurred when Jesus was hanging ah, on that old yeah, rugged cross. But in spite of it all, Jesus said, I am the light of the world, and ye are the light of the world. Oh God, our Father, bless us that we can be light that, Lord, we can uh, uh, accept Jesus as our personal Savior. And when we accept him as our Savior, we can become Lord. We can become like you, Lord, and be all that you want us to be. Use us in your service. Let us light up the corner of the world where we are. And be a light in the midst of darkness. It is in the name of Jesus.